fabulous coffee roasters. Hi, this is Ben. Today we're going to video our July Premium Coffee Tasting. Today we're going to have three coffee to taste. So let's go ahead and start. Today we have three coffees from Colombia. Colombia accounts for roughly 10% of the world's coffee supply and reserve. Colombia is world number one Arabica coffee producer and world number three coffee exporter. There are four famous regions in Colombia, including Narino, Coca, Huela, and Tolima. In 2018, we met the owner of Cafe Granja La Esperanza, Rigo Berto, and SCA Expo in Seattle, and we started working on some projects. They are one of the professional specialty coffee producers in Colombia. They have four coffee farms located in Coca Valley called Zero Azu, Las Margaritas, Las Esperanza, and Potosi. They expertise in R&D for rare coffee varietals, advanced coffee planning technology, and innovative coffee process development. Today, we'll have two coffees from them. The first coffee is Zero Azu Geisha Wash Process from Cafe Granja La Esperanza. The variety is Geisha, the region is Valle de Coca, and the elevation is 1700 to 2000 meters above sea level. The second coffee is Las Margaritas Geisha Wash Process from Cafe Granja La Esperanza. The region is Valle de Coca and the elevation is from 1,570 to 1,850 meters above sea level. The third coffee is our new single origin espresso. It's from Colombia Narino. Farm name is Finca San Joaquin and the variety is Cotura and Colombia. The elevation is 2,080 meters above sea level. The coffee maker we are using today is called Quinto SES Coffee Craft Set. The cone-shaped metal coffee filter is made of stainless steel material. It has very, very small holes on the filter to prevent coffee residue while allowing the taste of coffee oil. The holder can be used to measure coffee beans as well as to place the filter after use, which is very convenient. After introduce three different coffee, let's start growing. Today, the uh, parameters we want to use, uh, the first one, uh, water coffee ratio. We will use a 1 to 15, and then uh, water temperature we use 194 degree F and the uh, uh, grind size, this is Daza, we use 14. We put the grinded coffee into filter and then shake filter a little bit to let the surface of coffee keep fresh to help extract coffee evenly. Then, we start to pour some hot water into filter to prevent the coffee to wake up coffee and degas CO2. It usually takes 20 to 30 seconds. After prevent coffee, we start to pour more hot water into filter to extract coffee from center to the edge. Keep a slow and even pull moving in concentric circle from the center outward. Continue until you have reached your desired coffee water ratio. For here, we use 1 to 15 and let all of the water finish flowing through the blower. When finish brewing, take a filter out and put on holder. Before pouring coffee into cup, remember to shake the brewer to mix coffee together. When brewing coffee, acidity comes out first 
and then sweetness and bitterness. So after brewing, we mix them together. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. So before we go ahead and taste them, we have six experts of tasting coffees that we would like to introduce. There are six tasting aspects we will apply today. They are flavor, acidity, body, sweetness, after test, and balance. After test, Several also watched Geisha. We found the flavor content, blackberry, strawberry, grapefruit, and black tea. The acidity is most likely citrus. The body is light. Sweetness has some caramel. And the balance is good. After test, it's long and satisfying finish. The last margarita washed geisha. We found flavor, content, raspberry, green apple, and melon. The acidity is more like a lemon. The body is light. Balance, yeah, just okay. After test, yeah, disappear quickly. The last one is Narino SOE. The flavor is more like a nutty, spicy, and dark chocolate. Yeah, we didn't test any acidity. The body is heavy. Yeah, probably is a full city roast. And the balance is good. And the after test, long lasting, but a little bit bitter. Um, how do you like all three coffees, Ben? Well, for me, um, I think um, the first two, because geisha is more like a fruity, and then the third one is more like a nutty chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then but for acidity, yeah, I think the second one is have, has more acidity than others. Yeah, and then body, I think uh, as we know, geisha is like a, uh, like a light body, but uh, um, the third one, because it's a full uh, roast, a full city, so I think the body will be heavier than others. So uh, after test, uh, I think the, the first one and the third one last longer than the second one. Yeah, overall, I think uh, the balance, the three coffee balance is very good. Yeah, and then if, uh, I think if people like, uh, like sweetness and acidity more, they can select the first one. And then uh, if they like uh, more acidity, they can select uh, the second one. Yeah. However, if people don't like any acidity, and then I think uh, they can select the third one. Yeah. So how about you? Yeah, for myself, I think all three coffee are very different. Um, I want to point out because we're using Kinto coffee maker this time, so uh, you can really taste the oil inside the coffee. So that makes like the third cup, which is the Colombian Arino uh, SOE, very, very full body, very rich, heavy, and um, dark chocolate. So it actually is very great using a manual coffee filter. Uh, for the first two cups, I think the uh, Grand Dressera Azus Geisha, it has more body. So for people that want fruitiness, also want the body, I think the first cup is the perfect cup for them. Uh, the second one, to me, is more tea-like. Um, so I know some people like a lighter body, very uh, tea-like, fruity coffee. Um, that would be a great choice for them. So I think all three um, all have very unique uh, flavors. So um, I like all three of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm glad Good. that... I uh, we can like taste three coffee with a different um, brewing method this time and in August we're going to have different coffees and a different brewing method and um, it's going to be a very very special coffee so I'm really looking for um, 
our August pre-made coffee tasting video. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot wait. Yeah. So um, if you like it, please um, go on our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram and follow us. And we'll see you next month. Bye.